the big discussion when it comes to safety and tires is the whole discussion about dark siding. Good morning everyone and welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. The channel for everything Honda Goldwing. Motor vlogs, DIY tips, and accessory installation and review videos. If you're a passionate Honda Goldwing enthusiast, or if you just like watching someone who is, you're in the right place so click that little subscribe button down below and if you click the little bell icon YouTube will notify you when I come out with new videos. Now most of you that watch my motor vlogs know that I tend to do my motor vlogs on the way home from my morning coffee and, and uh, breakfast, which is the same this Monday morning. I'm on my way back uh, to Carrollton from Einstein's Bagel. I just now noticed my TPMS light is on, so I'm going to have to fill up my rear tire with some air when I get home. I love having the TPMS built into the motorcycle and I love having it show me the actual uh, PSI. I can see that I'm at 37 pounds in my rear tire so I'll deal with that as soon as I get home. I usually run 41, 41 in my tires and that actually gives me an opportunity since the TPMS light is on to talk about another safety subject regarding uh, motorcycle safety which is tires you know my last motor vlog I talked about uh, motorcycle safety and how I felt like fear uh, was a big help in uh, making us safer riders that you have to have a, an element or a degree of fear not not to the point of being terrified to ride a motorcycle but that you have to be aware and of just a touch of fear it makes it makes you ride safer well boy did I get a lot of comments on that on the YouTube channel uh, some people a couple of guys made the point that no fear is not what you want you want to have respect and uh, in my in my opinion there is a difference between respect and fear now I do respect the limitations of the motorcycle I respect uh, how hard the ground is if I were to hit it. That's why I wear the gear I wear. I respect uh, the laws of the road. But if a guy's coming up behind me and I'm coming to a stop and he's coming up behind me at 30 miles an hour and he's got a cell phone in his hand and he's texting and he is going to run into the back of me, I don't respect that. I fear the hell out of it. So I do agree that you do need to have respect, but I think you also need to have a little bit of fear. That's just my take. I understand what you guys are trying to say. I know it. it's not like a, I think we're splitting hairs a little bit. I think we probably all mean the same thing. But since uh, I have my TPMS light on, I think it's a good idea to talk about the importance of your tires when it comes to safety. Now, I, as I said earlier, I run 4141 in my tires. I can't remember the numbers Honda recommends, but it's pretty close to that. But I've been running 41 pounds front and rear for a long time. I think it's a good combination between uh, safety and uh, I think the tires wear a little better with 41 front and rear. They don't uh, cup quite as bad as they do if you're running say 38 or 39. In fact my TPMS light goes off at 38. So I'm assuming Honda expects there to be 40 to 41 pounds. But I'll have to go back and look at the owner's manual and see what they actually recommend. Now I like the Bridgestone tires. Uh, I had Dunlops on this motorcycle when I bought it and they were fine. 
Uh, this is the 2018 Goldwing and it came with either Dunlop or Bridgestone. And I've just always been kind of a Bridgestone guy. I like Bridgestone tires. I think they are they have a little bit more grip than the Dunlops, in my opinion, especially in wet on wet pavement. But uh, the Dunlops were fine. I think the Bridgestones might wear a little better also. I've just always been a big fan of Bridgestones. But you know, I think either one are good tires. And I, I don't know if anybody else is making tires yet for the 2018 Goldwing. But I know some of you guys that on the older Goldwing, you like Avon tires, you like Metzler's. Yeah. The important thing is, is when it comes to safety, not so much that you're the brand of tire that you're running, but I think it's important that you maintain the tires, make sure you check them regularly to make sure there's no punctures, no nails sticking in your tire, because the tires do tend to be pretty soft and they will pick up nails real easily. And if you do get a puncture in a tire, I know some of you will plug those tires, plug those holes and continue to run on those tires. Now, I am a little hesitant to do that. If the puncture is right in the center of the rear tire, uh, I might use a rope plug and I might ride around town on it long enough until I can get to a dealer to have it replaced. But I'm not going to ride on the highway for any distance at all at 60 or 65 miles an hour with a repaired tire. I'm just not going to run that risk. So I think to be safe, you need to have a tire replaced if it gets a puncture. I had one really bad puncture one time and it was almost in the sidewall. It was kind of in the corner edge of the tire. And it took me three, I had to drill it out with a drill. And it took me three of those sticky rope plugs to plug that hole enough to where I could get it to hold air. And I was able to get to the dealer to get the tire replaced. And for some reason, the only time I have had a tire puncture is on a brand new tire with less than 5,000 miles on it. I've never had an old tire get a puncture. It's always one with like a thousand miles on it. So it's no fun shelling out money for tires, but you know, it is probably, as far as your motorcycle, it's the most important safety item on the motorcycle. You're riding on a contact patch that might only be two inches in diameter, front and rear. So the quality and the condition of your tires is extremely important. And I know some guys say they get 15, 16,000 miles out of a set of tires. I've never been able to get more than 10,000 to maybe 11,000 out of a set of tires. I would be really scared to keep a set of motorcycle tires on a Goldwing over 11,000 miles. I just, you know, they're either going to be too worn or they're going to be riding rough because they're starting to cup. Uh, but that's just my opinion. You guys might have a whole different take on this. Now, the big discussion when it comes to safety and tires is the whole discussion about dark siding. Because I know some of you guys out there are passionate dark siders, which means, for those of you who don't know, uh, you run a car tire uh, as a rear tire on the motorcycle. And there's a lot of people out there that do this. And it's a, I would say, a pretty popular subculture in the Goldwing community of guys who run car tires on their motorcycle rear tire. Now, the reason for dark siding, uh, is from what they say, is number one, the tire lasts a long time. It, it might last 30, 35,000 miles. So it's a much less expensive option because the tire lasts longer. Some of you run, uh, <clears throat> put the run flat tires on your bike so you feel like it's maybe safer because it is a run flat tire. 
And there's the issue of the cost of the tire itself. The cost of the tire may only be around $100 to $115 compared to, I don't know, maybe $200 for a motorcycle tire. So there is a definite uh, cost advantage to running a car tire on, as a back tire on the motorcycle. However, the other argument is, from the other side, is... A car tire is designed to be run on a car, not on a motorcycle. Car tires are not designed, the sidewalls are not designed to lean in a turn. They're designed to stay flat on the road surface. So when you lean over on a motorcycle, you're putting uh, stress on the shoulder of that tire that it wasn't designed to take. Some also argue that the bead of the tire on the car tire is different than the bead on a motorcycle tire. Therefore, it doesn't uh, attach itself perfectly to the motorcycle rim like a motorcycle tire does. Now, we can argue and debate those things all day long. Uh, where do I stand on it? I am using motorcycle tires because I believe they were designed for use on a motorcycle. And I just haven't quite made that leap yet to try a car tire on a motorcycle. And there's another element of complexity when you do choose to run a car tire is that most of your motorcycle dealers will not install a car tire on a motorcycle rim for liability reasons. Whether that's legitimate, whether that's justified or not, I, I'm not going to argue that. I'm just saying you, you're going to have to go somewhere to have somebody put that tire on the rim. Uh, maybe even a like discount tire or a car place. I don't know. But if you're interested in dark siding, I highly recommend you go to Chris Caliente's Facebook page and YouTube channel because Chris Caliente is another YouTube motovlogger. Some of you know that uh, I've mentioned him before. We've met up a couple times. And he is a passionate dark sider. And he has a dark siding uh, group. So rather than me trying to give you my expert opinion of which I don't have one because I've never ridden dark side, I would recommend you go check out his channel and uh, talk to guys over there that are actually running a car tire on their motorcycle. I think if you ride in the twisties a lot, if you're carving canyons, a car tire probably is not the best solution. If you're going out on a track day with your motorcycle and riding around uh, Laguna Seca, probably not something you'd want to do with a car tire. But if you've got a Goldwing and you tend to tour on the interstate, flat roads, mostly straight flat roads, 75-80% of the time, maybe a car tire is a good option. Maybe it's something that, uh, uh, you know, as long as you're not doing aggressive cornering, probably uh, works okay. I know a lot of guys do it. A lot of guys run those car tires, and I haven't heard massive numbers of uh, motorcycle accidents because of it so it must be relatively safe anyway keep your tires pressured up properly my gosh they're already picking up the trash at seven o'clock in the morning that's ridiculous i got to get home get my trash can out so a couple other things real quick we just came out with our reflective decals or stickers whichever you want to call them and uh, check them out on my website they're reflective and you can put them on your motorcycle put them on your helmet put them on your trailer heck you can put them on your grandkids so you can keep up with them in the dark but we've got them available uh, the sale of those reflective stickers kind of helps support this YouTube channel and I'm always coming up as trying to come up with some creative ways to make a few extra dollars just to pay for all the hardware and GoPros and equipment and editing stuff and video gears. <laughs> if you'd like some reflective stickers, go to my uh, website, cruisemansgarage.com, go up to the shop link, and I'll put a link in this description too. 
so that's about it for now more stuff coming i'm going to go this morning and later on to do an interview with don smith he wants to interview me for his youtube channel so i'll update you on that a little later and give you a link to that so thanks for joining me today and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you next time on cruise man's motor vlog